Hello, welcome to Bragway TV. If you are new here, please subscribe and turn on the notifications so you don't miss our next video. Biography of Raila Odinga Raila Odinga is often regarded as the second father of multi-party democracy in Kenya. He's a businessman and politician who was born into a politically active family. His father, Jaramugi, was the first vice president of Kenya under President Jumu Kenyatta and Odinga served as prime minister from 2008 to 2013 and has been the opposition leader since 2013. Raila Odinga, also known as Baba, was born on January 7, 1945 to Jaramugi Oginga Odinga and Mary Ajuma Odinga at the Anglican Church Missionary Society of Sweta in Maseno, Kisumu district of Inyanza province. Odinga started his education at Kisumu Union Primary School and later went to Mananda Primary School. He started his high school in Mananda School but dropped out in 1962. It was not too long that he left for Germany and spent two years at the Health Institute, a part of the physiological faculty at the University of Leipzig in East Germany. In 1965, Odinga got a scholarship to study at the technical school Madeburg in East Germany and in 1970, he graduated with Masters of Science. While studying in East Berlin during the Cold War, Odinga put his entrepreneurial skills in action and since he could visit West Berlin as a Kenyan with no suspicion, he began smuggling goods to his friends at West Germany. After graduation in 1970, he returned to Kenya and by 1971, Odinga established his company that manufactured the liquid petroleum gas cylinders. In 1974, Odinga was made manager of the Kenyan Bureau of Standards. Years later, he was made deputy director in 1978 and he held that position until 1982. Odinga lost his job as deputy director following his detention in 1982. He was placed under house arrest by the then Kenyan president, Daniel Moi, and was later detained for six years without trial as he was charged for treason. Raila Odinga revealed that the most traumatizing experience for him was the death of his mother in 1984. He was informed while in prison two months after she passed. Raila was released on February 6, 1988, only to be arrested again in September of that same year for his involvement in the pro-democracy activities that fought for a multi-party democracy other than one-party system. Raila Odinga was released on June 12, 1989, but his freedom was short-lived as he was arrested again with Kenneth Batiba and Charles Rubia, former Nairobi mayor. He was released the next year on June 21, 1989, and by October, he fled the country for Norway. While Raila was away, a movement called Ford, Forum for the Restoration of Democracy, was formed to fight for the adoption of a multi-party democracy. Ford was led by his father, Jaramugi, and upon Raila's return in 1992, he joined the movement. He was made vice chairman of the General Purpose Committee. Before the general elections of 1992, Ford split into two, one led by Jaramugi and the other by Kenneth Matiba. Raila was appointed Ford Kenya's deputy director of elections in his father's faction. Raila Odinga won the Langata constituency parliamentary seat and when his father died in 1994, Michael Kijana took over Ford Kenya leadership but Raila challenged him in what ended up in controversies. Raila Odinga resigned and joined National Development Party. Raila contested in the 1997 general elections as the party's presidential candidate, finishing third behind Daniel Moi and Nwai Kibaki. After the elections, he pledged allegiance to Moi and that led to a merger between his party and Moi's Kanu. Moi appointed him energy minister. In the party's election, he was elected as general secretary. Moi put a shocker by endorsing Uhuru Kenyatta as his successor, the son of former president Jomo Kenyatta. Odinga and others were disappointed, making him and a few Kanu members teamed up with Kibaki's National Party of Kenya, NAC, to form a national rainbow coalition that defeated Moi and his candidate, Uhuru. That win over Moi and Uhuru gave Odinga more credibility as he was nicknamed Anguambo, meaning the mysterious one. Kibaki being president, went against the pre-election agreement of sharing powers equally among the NAC stakeholders and a review of the constitution within a hundred days of the elections. That led to division within the cabinet as well as disagreement over the proposed new constitution which was said to give too much power to the presidency and weaken regional governments. Raila opposed this and when there was a referendum on November 21, 2005, the government lost by a margin of 43% to 57%. President Kibaki was angry and sacked the entire cabinet on November 23, 2005. Raila and his ally went on to form the Orange Democratic Movement, ODM, and in the 2007 presidential elections, Odinga was ODM presidential candidate. The elections were held on December 27, and the Electoral Commission declared Kibaki winner of the elections, but Odinga was dissatisfied with the results, leading to violence in most parts of Kenya. For peace to reign, after about two months' unrest, there was an agreement of power sharing between Kibaki and Odinga 
signed in February 2008 and brokered by Kofi Annan, former UN Secretary General. On April 17, 2008, Raila was made Prime Minister. For the 2013 elections, Raila Odinga's ODM teamed up with Kalonzo Musoeka's Wiper Party and with Angola's Fort Kenya to form Coalition for Reforms and Democracy, called for the elections. Adopting Raila as candidate and Kalonzo as running mate. Elections were held on March 4, 2013, where Uhuru won in the first round and was declared winner by the commission. In the 2017 elections, Uhuru was re elected with 8.2 million votes against Raila's 6.7 million. After the results were announced, violence broke out in some parts, but President Uhuru and Odinga called for calm. Raila challenged the result in court and the court ordered new elections to be held in 60 days. On January 30, 2017, Raila Odinga organized a swearing-in ceremony where he called himself the People's President. And because of the ceremony, TV stations in Kenya were taken off air. But on March 9, President Uhuru and Odinga appeared on TV and made peace. Odinga is married to Ide Odinga and they have four children. His net worth is estimated to be about 500 million US dollars. What's your take on Odinga as a Kenyan politician? Let us know in the comment section. Will it be ridiculous to subscribe to our channel? If no, please like this video, share and subscribe to our channel.